Hi everyone, this is LaDonna. I wanted to do a quick share on a uh, envelope mini album that I created. Uh, it's vintage shabby chic theme and it was for a mini album swap at uh, Mini Album Scraps and my partner was Lori. Uh, she is into tons of different colors, uh, earth tones, pastels, and so on and so forth. And so I wanted to create something that incorporated all the colors that she likes as, as well as um, vintage and shabby chic concept and one of her um, her really only huge request was that there be a lot of real estate for her to have to place pictures and pockets and things like that for tags so this is what I came up with and um, this was created using a six by nine uh, white envelope so I had looked at many tutorials on YouTube. Most of the ones that I found were for the regular standard mailing envelope, which created a pocket that was um, like four by six or things um, for itty bitty minis. So um, I'll show you guys briefly once I get through with this how I went about doing that. Um, just to give you a look at the cover, this is a little wooden fence that I painted using some dabber paint and stickles and my distress inks. Uh, these come in a package of like three or so for like a dollar fifty at Joann's. It was either Joann's or Michael's. It's a fabric flower that I made and was left over from a swap that I had participated in. And this is a EK Success um, sticker flower spray. So I thought that really added to it. Um, these papers are from different paper stacks. This one is from the DCBW Spring Fling stack, and this is the K and Company. Um, I want to say it's the Elegance paper pad. So, and it's kind of the same concept going along the back. Um, nothing too gaudy or whatever. Just wanted to keep it the same. I used the accordion. Um, made an accordion spine so that it will allow her to expand if she, if she wanted to add more tags and stuff to the to the album and I just secured it with ribbon right. and so there's the um, the cover the front and back covers are not made using the envelope I actually use medium weight chipboard um, added this um, vintage letters and I just basically crumpled up the paper. I did that on the back cover as well and distressed it with my inks. I added a dimensional butterfly and lace for pocket and trim. Um, for the spine I used a uh, cream colored cardstock and I used different distress inks and just applied it variously along the spine. These pockets I made using um, see if I can grab one real quick. They're basically um, the coin envelopes. So, well, I can't find a smaller one, but it's the these this is considered a coin envelope too. It's just a bigger one. I use the smaller one, so it's like probably this size and it stops about here. And basically all I did was <clears throat> cut slice along here to open up the side. And I took, you know, how we have scrap paper laying around, took that, applied it to the top, left enough so that it would fold down into the pocket, and um used the um edger scissors to shape along the bottom of there. These are mini tags that I had left over. I created for the itty bitty, um, some itty bitty albums I had made for a swap. And so if you can see, this is the, this envelope makes multiple pockets. So it's side loading and top loading. So, and basically on the inside of these pockets at the top, because I had distressed my envelopes with the inks beforehand, um, I put like silver, this silver pearlized paper down inside of it so you just didn't see all my messy distressed strokes and it just has a finished edge along there. 
And so these are the photo mats. This paper I really like. It's from the Recollections paper pad. It's like an embossing sanding paper pad and it has um, different designs on there. Um, it's kind of like a faded coloring and then I use Distress Ink to bring out the dots on that. Oh. So I'll just try to keep the tags as vintage looking as possible or chic looking as possible. The photo mat. Um, actually, these are the envelopes, the mini coin envelopes that I use to make these pockets. And I just basically adhered them to the page with my hot, with my mini hot glue gun. This is pearl and bling trim. Another um, journal tag. And this is from the lace and linens paper pad. And a photo mat. Another area for photos or letters if she wants to tack them up in there. Right. Another mini pocket with lace and pearl. And I was just trying to um, make it l keep with the concept of antique filling, vintage type, etc., etc. This is a journal tag that I added bling to. Another photo mat. Oh, and on the inside of the pockets, again, before you hear them, um, so this is like the linen paper as well. And then this is just regular light pink cardstock. So just to kind of have contrast I and make my pockets <clears throat> more finished, I added papers to them, so whatever scraps I just have laying around that have already been cut on. It's another journal mat. And that silver paralyzed paper is kind of just a theme, <laughs> a constant throughout this book. Another place for photos. I really like this paper. It's like the whimsical paper pad. Um, so it comes with all the birdies and stuff on it. Really cute. And I just added a Tim Holtz um, birdcage die. So I just painted it with the dabber, um, blue dabber paint and stickles and added some flat back pearls to it. This paper is also from the whimsical paper pad. And just some more journal tags and um, photo mats. This paper as well, um, you can't see it very well, but it's, I thought it was so cute. And um, it's from that paper, the same paper pad. So, another mini pocket. And another photo mat, journal tag. This is the last mat. And then again, uh, this is the back inside cover, and it's just those vintage uh, letters. And like I did on the inside, the front inside pocket, crumpled it up, distressed it with my inks, and I added um, some bling centers to the flowers. And that's basically that for the book. Um, just to kind of show you what I did, this, the envelope, and I'll probably do something, another video, just kind of giving you a better idea. But basically, this is the six by nine envelope, and I measured it to six by six and folded it. Um, so basically this would adhere over, so it's not going to go all the way over, so it's not going to make your pocket simply by using this alone. And then you cut off the flap, and um, so you can go ahead and, like I distressed my envelope and everything, and then I added my um, paper that I wanted to be um, on the inside, between the inside top pocket, right? Because you're still going to have to add paper here, and you can go ahead and do that as well. Um, but I just added this first because it just made it a bit more sturdier. And then I took some heavyweight paper, um, 
this isn't really cardstock. It's just a little bit heavier than um, regular copy paper. And so I measured it down to, oh, this is the right measurements, to six by six, right? And so the whole thing is going to be applied on top of here like that. And then this measurement of five and a half by six is because you need to leave at least a half inch for your binding, however you want to do that. And then the five and a half, the papers, the designer papers that you're going to add, you're going to measure those down to five and a half by six and you're going to mount them here, right? So this flap will be gone. And if you have a um, circle punch, you just do a half punch on the edge so that you'll be able to grab your tags. And this is basically how the pocket will be on the inside. And then you can add your papers. And this will be the pocket on the top because this will all <laughs> be adhered. So that's basically that. The purple on here is just showing you where I put my score tape. So, um... I will probably do another video just showing you how I did that. I'm sure there are tons of videos out here with envelope pockets, but this is what I came up with for this 6x6, six six, and it worked really well, and it's very, very, very sturdy pages. So just to give you all a quick run through again. So, Lori, I hope that you like it. I'm sorry it took me a while, but... Um, I just really wanted to be able to create something that you would truly love and enjoy and get all of your requests in there. So that's that. Thank you all for watching. Bye.